I don't know. Welcome back to Small Cap Recap. Bryce Tui here. Um, nice day, although I actually wore this while I was red for the majority of the morning. I won't lie to you. I was, uh, I was, I was kind of questioning my sanity. I was like, man, I'm, I'm literally red all morning. What is going on here? Why am I wearing the, the outfit? Um, but you know, we, we recovered, had a really nice green day. Uh, and yeah, just crazy market momentum. The S, uh, the S P 500, the spy was up like over 3% at one point. Um, really just great momentum, continued, continued momentum, but not necessarily in the energy sector, just overall, like small cap momentum was just hot today. Things were moving a lot of range. Um, really great day for longs and I capitalized now again. I'm just happy with these like smaller big days, uh, up about $5,000 today. Um, but I was actually read about $5,000 this morning. Um, and I did work my way up to, I think like six or $7,000 unrealized, but I, uh, unfortunately I was, I had a plan. I I'm very happy. I st very well executed trading on my part lately. And obviously we're having really nice movers, which for sure helps, but I'm following my plan. I'm, I'm taking the meat of the move on a lot of these names. Uh, and that's like what I'm really excited about, but you know, every now and then at the end of the day, we kind of dumped on a lot of these and I just followed my plan. I stuck to it, stuck to my risk and that, you know, led to, uh, you know, $2,000 in unrealized losses, but let's get into the charts. Had some really just beautiful, beautiful trades. Actually, we'll start with where I was red this morning. So CYRN, I was looking for a day two right out of the gates and got chopped up quite a bit here. Uh, ended up selling for like, I don't know, $2,500, $3,000 in losses uh, between way too many attempts on it there. Uh, and then B cell is the other one. Uh, I was looking for a first green day on this. Uh, after a really nice pre-market gap on very low volume, but it just indicated a lot of range, which I was happy with, uh, was in this area, just got chopped up a bit, looking for this, uh, continuation up to like 350. didn't get it, uh, sold here. I ended up rebuying it here uh, and selling up into this spike, which was nice. But, you know, again, I got chopped up quite heavily out of the gates. Um, and that definitely impacted my, I don't know, it didn't. Oops. It impacted my, uh, my, my mental state a little bit, but I stayed as composed as possible and ended up nailing DRCT. It took me a couple attempts here as well. I lost like 500 bucks trying to get it in here, uh, before loading up on this trend break right here. I had a 212 average sold one third of my shares into two forties. Uh, I actually outlined that in small cap rockets, how 250 was likely going to act as a major level of resistance before continuing to push higher. So I wanted to be out most by there. So I got out two thirds into the two fifties. Uh, a lot more out up in the 280s, 290s. Re-added back a lot, of, or not a lot. Um, Re-added back size here at 279, and then sold my best sell was at 359. We topped out at 365. So really nice trade. I This was one of those ones I did uh, try the backside. I actually bought here on, mm, where was it? This dip right here, I got in at 288 average. Um, and I didn't sell at all. I wanted the high day break. I wanted that continuum momentum. We just didn't get it. Ended up stopping out down here for like a thousand dollar loss on this uh, secondary trade attempt. It is what it is. I'm happy with it. It actually it almost worked. Um, I wasn't in front of my screen either, so I, I didn't sell. I wasn't going to sell from my phone unless it really fall. I, it stuck me to essentially uh, or forced me to essentially stick to my risk level. Um, and I did follow the plan. Took the loss on it. ASTS, another beautiful one here. Um, got long here at 940. My best sell was up here at 11. Um, just a really nice ABCD pattern with that afternoon consolidation. A little bit of a higher float, uh, which is why I did sell. I wasn't looking for some massive parabolic to 15. Just because when we got those parabolic spikes, I wanted to be selling into it, which I did. I sold actually the most of it uh, up into the 10 push, uh, 10 plus, like 10, 20, 10, 30. Um, I what kind of was thinking about re-adding here, but I didn't. Uh, I just sold into the 11s. Nice trade. SBFM was another one that I was up pretty decently on here. So I took this entry right here in the th uh, high 390s. Got this spike up into the 440s, but uh, I was looking because of just how low a float it was and how much pre-market range we had and how well it was holding up. I did want to uh, give this a try for a high a day break, ideally into like the 5 or $6 area. Didn't get it. It is what it is. Um, yeah. 
CYRN was another one that I told you I got chopped up on this morning, um, but it ended up having a reversal, and this is one I kind of butchered. So I actually got long here at 780 and sold into 820. Can you believe it? Uh. Now, looking back, you'd be like, wow, why'd you sell? But this was down like 20 plus percent on the day when I bought. I was only looking at it for a scalp. It was down so much, I had no conviction, not only that it would test high day, but break high a day, especially after this wick right here. Rejected VWAP really hard. <coughs> I figured this was just a backside short ad. Turns out it wasn't, and we kept ripping. It was more or less like an intraday trap almost. Um, but I, I nailed that scalp for like a thousand bucks. Um, had I held, yeah, I've been crazy, but followed my plan there. And then lastly, Indo uh, energy bounce today. A lot of these energy stocks, Husa, Indo, um, Marps, uh, IMPP, we had a lot of bounces. I just took the scalp here from 3760, I want to say, got in, uh, selling up into the low 40s um, for a nice, nice quick little scalp, but it was a nice trade nonetheless. Um, I ended up getting really choppy after that. So really a lot of potential in the market today. Um, in fact, I was just giving a webinar to the steady trade team, um, kind of about how today was less about sector momentum and how it was really more about just like overall momentum in the small cap market and really how I take advantage of those days. And I kind of just showed you the charts there, um, that I traded, but if you guys are looking to take your, your education kind of the next level, the steady trade team is a great place to start. It's, um, me, I'm part of the steady trade team. Uh, Mike Huddy is also a uh, mentor on the steady trade team. And then obviously our beloved Tim Bowen is the lead trainer of the steady trade team. And he puts out a lot of great content. Um, a lot of these listed sector momentum based stocks. He's kind of teaching the different strategies, different setups, different patterns, how to identify um, kind of the best trade potentials. And if you, like I said, if you're looking to take your education to the next level, I can personally attest that um, while I'm only in there once a week as I'm more focused on small caps, uh, there is just so much unlimited potential for learning. Now, this is only for our more serious traders. Um, we do have an application process and everything, but we'll have a link down below to check it out and uh, see if it'd be a good fit for you. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off of here. I am so tired. I went to went to lunch and overate a little bit of food, and I'm, I'm kind of going into the food coma. I might actually have to take my nap before I even leave the, leave the office. That's how tired I am right now. Or I guess I could just drink some caffeine, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, yeah, really crazy momentum today. Uh, I'm probably going to take it a little easier tomorrow. Um, again, the sector momentum isn't there unless we get some crazy gappers um, that set up really well. Probably going to take it a little on the easier side tomorrow just because we've had a bunch of days of just really crazy runs. And at some point, they are going to slow down. Uh, hopefully, the energy sector stays hot in the coming days, coming weeks, where we'll have more opportunities, maybe not necessarily on Indo, Husa, IMPP, um, but some new names. There are a ton of other energy stocks with really great daily chart looks. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed can uh, continue to set up. That being said, guys, I am out of here. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. I will probably not see you this week because we have the two well i'll see you on the tui talk show by the way on instagram right now today you can let me know what drink of choice you want for cocktail friday on the tui talk show um and tomorrow we'll have the poll on twitter so go check that out be sure to like comment and subscribe on the youtube channel oh by the way I didn't, I totally forgot to mention, I just looked over at Andrew. You can't see my camera. He's, so him and I were, were dual rocking the Versace today. I got the robe, which I just drastically overpaid for, especially because look at that. It ripped on me. It ripped. What? Listen, it's, is it not messed up? Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Like, that's like, I don't even know how much the robe is. I paid just... 800 bucks for this and it, like, I've, I've worn it. Not enough times for it to have ripped. Like, at least, so Andrew's rocking the Versace shades right now, who are actually Alex's, who is also back here. So it's like a, a three-way Versace gang here. Um, but I'm I'm really upset with the quality of this robe, given how much I paid for it. Um, what, even, even if it was good quality, I still overpaid. But I super overpaid. This is just, it's messed up. Like, come on. Versace, if you're watching this, I, I don't know. I'd like a refund, but I honestly, I'd just like you to like make a better quality, uh, better quality wear. Cause this, this is, I have like $20 robes that I've had for like three years and they haven't ripped. I've had this for eight months. Disappointing. That's, you should let me know. Let me know down in the comment below if this uh, is just an overpriced junk brand. 
because I'm starting to think so. But man, here I am. I, I hope Versace is not a publicly traded company or else I just probably uh, dump their stock two pennies. Anyways, yeah, Versace gang is here. Versace gang is out. You will not see me in Versace for a while unless the market gets really hot again. I'm convinced. Here's what we were just talking about, right? I, I, I keep trying to end this and I keep thinking of things. I was not taking advantage of the hot market when I was not dressed up. Came in as a cowboy, had my biggest day in weeks, maybe even, maybe months. Might have been since like December. I come in again, dressed up in Versace, and, and I had a wild recovery today. That was the craziest part. As I turned a not a great red, a pretty not great red day into a really great green day. So I'm uh, I'm convinced it's got something to do with dressing up. Maybe I should dress up more often. Andrew, what do you think? Yeah, dude, I think so. Are you gonna keep Are you gonna keep rocking the shades every time I dress up? I mean, I think I only rock the shades if like you're wearing Versace. You know. Okay, that's sense, well. Maybe know? I'll just go buy like, you know, what I should do. I should buy like a Versace T-shirt or something, which is still like 150 dollars or like maybe more, and see how the quality on that is. Maybe I just got unlucky with the robe. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments. Anyhow, I am out of here. I'm tired. I'm ready for my nap. My end of day nap. Uh, catch you guys back here on Friday for the Tui Talk Show with Tim Bowen this time. Finally, Tim Bowen is going to make it on. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it, guys. Have a great Wednesday. Ah, Bryce out. <laughs>We hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of the Stocks Trade community. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but we can't do it without your help. So if you enjoy what we're putting out and want to hear more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.